We're constantly getting asked to compare sleds, which one's faster, which one rides better, which one handles better. Sometimes it seems like that's all our viewers actually wanna know. So today, I'm gonna bring you one of the most requested comparisons in Snowtrack's TV history. Polaris's Matrix XCR850 versus the Lynx Rave RE850. Get ready, cause this could get messy. Both sleds are full production units and both sleds have been tested on our home turf, so I'm 100% confident in the accuracy of my comparisons. The way I wanna do this is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna look at a number of important vehicle characteristics and see what kind of conditions and rider each is best suited for. Then at the end, I'm gonna give you my opinion on what kind of rider should be buying each of these sleds and what kind of rider shouldn't. Let's start with something familiar, power. Both of these sleds are powered by engines that we are very familiar with. Polaris's Patriot 50 is an incredibly well-rounded engine. It has an incredible bottom end, but is extremely smooth and has ultra linear power band. It rips when you pull the trigger, but it can be ridden all day at trail speeds without tiring you out. The 850 E-Tech also has excellent bottom end and it runs as smooth as a sewing machine, but its power band is much more abrupt. It pulls crazy hard when you squeeze the trigger, but it's less controllable and smooth at trail speeds. Now, some of this has to do with clutching for sure, but that all plays into the power package as a whole. In my opinion, the better of the two is the Patriot 850. It just provides smoother and more controllable power from engagement all the way to full shift. Next, let's talk about ergonomics. With sleds like these, you have to talk about both sit down and stand up ergos. Now it's no secret that our entire crew absolutely loves the ergonomic package of the Matrix platform, and it doesn't feel any different here on the XCR, even with the taller bar riser. The bars don't seem excessively or uncomfortably high for sit down riding, but they're at a near perfect height for stand up riding, at least for someone in the six foot range like me. Basically, there's no complaints here at all from anyone. The Lynx is simply put, the most comfortable BRP trail performance snowmobile on the snow. The ergonomics are absolutely excellent for sit down style riding. And while I find the bars to be just slightly too low for stand up riding for a guy my size, the rest of our crew finds the stand up riding ergonomics to be excellent as well. What's interesting is how the ergonomic traits that make the Matrix so comfortable are mirrored on the Lynx. From the taller seat to the narrower seat tank area to the aggressive grips, it's all very similar in design. Now, while ergonomics are definitely subjective and everyone has a different preference, every one of our test riders agreed that these sleds are easy to move around on and both fit and feel perfect while you're sitting or standing. The two areas of these sleds we get the most questions about are without question, ride and handling. And they're also the most interesting ones to make comparisons on because they're both very similar and yet very different at the same time. In terms of handling, the XCR handles every bit as good as the 2021 VR1. That is to say, they are, in the collective opinions of everyone here at Snow Tracks, the best handling sleds on the snow for any kind of sit-down style riding. Turn-in is consistent and predictable. Steering is light yet precise. The Matrix-based XCR is, as I've described it in the past, an incredibly easy sled to ride incredibly fast. Riding standing up is also excellent. The same characteristics that make sit-down riding work so well translate directly as soon as you stand up. It's also really easy to maneuver your body around on the sled while standing thanks to that extra narrow seat and tank area. Now the Rave is probably the most surprising handling sled I've ever ridden. Its uncoupled skid frame and playful skis in the air attitude suggest it shouldn't corner well at higher speeds, yet the exact opposite is true. This is the best handling BRP snowmobile they've made in a long time. Moving your weight forward on the seat helps keep the skis on the ground. Turn in is predictable and precise and steering is light. The whole sled feels very flickable. When you do want to get the skis up, just shift your weight back. If you're standing, simply lean your weight forward for cornering and back for wheelies. It's a sled that responds to rider inputs, which interestingly is exactly how the Polaris feels to ride. Now let's talk about suspension. This is where these two sleds differ the most. 
Obviously, they're both suspended by double arms up front, but the Rave's PPS3 rear suspension and the XCR's Pro CC skid frame are very, very different. They both feature absolute top of the line shocks all the way around. The 46 millimeter KYB Kashima coated HLCR shocks on the Lynx are high low speed compression and rebound adjustable, as are the two inch Walker Evans WER Velocity high low shocks on the XCR. There simply aren't better factory spec shocks in the industry right now. Both of these sets of shocks feature a huge adjustment range on all settings, but they differ in one significant way. The base damping settings on the Rave are quite a bit stiffer than those found on the XCR. What this means is simply put, the XCR can be set up to ride much smoother than the Rave, but the Rave can be set up to ride much stiffer than the XCR. This is true for both the front ski shocks and the rear skid shocks. How does this translate into real world scenarios? Well, again, it's quite simple. If you ride smooth and rough trails, but don't tend to pound the biggest moguls at like warp speed, the XCR will give you overall smoother ride characteristics than the Rave. But if you're the kind of rider who likes to pound the biggest bumps as fast as possible, hit the biggest jumps and basically just smash every mogul in sight, the Rave will give you the extra compression dampening you need. And this brings me to my final verdict. We need to answer the question, what type of riding scenarios and what type of riders are these two sleds best suited for? The XCR is basically a beefed up VR1. It offers all the performance, comfortable ergonomics, easy handling and plush ride we've raved about with the VR1, but has been built stronger to handle the big hits and moguls. It's extremely versatile for just about any kind of rider. You can enjoy ultimate comfort all morning and smash moguls all afternoon. The Lynx, on the other hand, is the kind of sled that can handle the roughest terrain, the biggest moguls and the biggest jumps without ever feeling overwhelmed. The suspension literally feels bottomless. It never leaves you feeling like you're out of control no matter how fast you ride it. It may lack that ultra smooth power delivery and plush ride you get with the XCR, but what it lacks in those things, it more than makes up for in ultimate big bump control. This is the sled for the guy who wants something composed and easy to handle when it's smooth, but something that stays in complete control, ditch banging at full throttle and when the bumps get extra big. Is one better than the other? Not in my opinion. I have both of them sitting outside my office right now and I have to flip a coin every time I go to ride. I love them both equally, but for very different reasons. You simply have to decide which one has the characteristics that best suit how you ride.